Hi, today I want to show you an item that you can find in a hardware store, and it is radioactive. Let's take a closer look at the foriated tanks and electrodes. There are three types of foriated tanks and electrodes, with the only difference being the amount of forium in them. Yellow ones contain around 1% of forium, red 2%, and orange 4%. Even though orange ones contain the highest amount of forium, they are actually not much more radioactive than the red ones, which are the most common. Tungsten electrodes come in different sizes, with bigger ones being slightly more active. Personally, I decided to go with 3.2mm ones, but smaller should also work fine. Since the label on the box clearly states that these electrodes contain forium, I didn't expect the gallon spectroscopy to show anything interesting. But to my surprise, it did. The main two differences between the spectrum of tungsten electrodes and the spectrum of forium gas mantle are the peak at 511 keV and the peak at 583 keV. Let's start with the peak at 511 keV. It is referred to as annihilation peak, and it is caused by the annihilation of a positron by its interaction with an electron. This event can occur more often in tungsten electrodes because of their high density. The peak at 583 keV is caused by volume 208. When the forium decays, it emits radium 220, which is a gas, and it escapes into the air, but in the case of tungsten electrodes, it is trapped by dense tungsten, which results in the accumulation of radium decay products, including volume 208. These electrodes are often used as a check source because of how easy to find they are and their small activity, which makes them relatively safe. That being said, when used for their original purpose, the dust generated by sharpening them could cause health problems in the long run if inhaled. When buying these electrodes, make sure to buy branded ones, because unfortunately, unbranded ones are often fake and they do not contain forium. I made this mistake twice, and both times I received fake electrodes that weren't radioactive. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. Also feel free to check out my coffee page where you can donate a nice cup of radioactive coffee. And remember, stay active.